drunk guy goes into a library and he goes, fish and chips, please. Librarian says, this is the library. He goes, sorry, can I have some fish and chips? <laughs> no joke for that. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Owen. So, Madam Curator, now we put a name to the voices, let's do the same to their choices. Thank you, Professor. I now declare the museum open for donations. Jack, let's start with you. What would you like to donate to the museum? I'd like to donate a book of Tom Swifties. Do you know what Tom Swifties are? It sounds a bit rude, but no. <laughs> they, have, they have the potential to be rude, but they don't have to be rude by definition. So um, I've chosen this because it's all about words and being clever with words and making people think about what they can do with words. So Tom Swifty is a type of pun where somebody says something in a certain style. So the core example is, I'm in a bit of a rush, said Tom Swiftly. Um, so sort of fairly bland version. Um, and then you've got more elaborate ones like, I used to be an airline pilot, Tom explained. Or, uh, or, or it gets worse, it gets worse. Um, I've discovered someone else who writes fairy tales, said the brothers grimly. Uh, or, I wonder if this is radioactive, said Marie curiously. Uh, or, or, I've got multiple personality disorder, he said, being frank. I had a holiday once with some friends when we discovered this concept of Tom Swifties and there were entire days when we didn't talk to each other and there was silence and every few minutes someone would just go, yep, here's one, I've got one. Um, and this would go on into the night. We were sharing a big youth hostel type dormitory room and you'd assume everyone was asleep and someone would just perk up and say, yep, got one. Um, and I think one of my favourites, which actually works better when it's spoken than, than read, is the one... I've got about 1,760 yards of paddy field, he said with a wry smile. <laughs> There's a, they're very inventive. The good ones are very clever. Can it be very inventive? Sort of... Yes, I've got ursine hair on the side of my visage, he said with barefaced cheek. <laughs> So what's this thing about them come from a series of adventure books by Edward Stratemeyer, he featuring very, a character called Tom Swift? Yeah, that's right. And he was very conscious to the point of uh, excessiveness, of, of not wanting he said, she said, he said, she said. So you can see passages from this book where more and more elaborate ways of people just saying something. He and, emoted Rosalie or yeah, whatever. Yeah, um, never-ending attempts to avoid repetition. But sometimes I think when writing, you're, you're better off just keeping it simple, aren't you? But... Quite nice that we've got this punning yeah. concept. It's a really good idea for a comedy book, isn't it? Well, the th thing I quite like about it is it's not that difficult to come up with your own. So my concept for the donation is that there should be space for people to contribute their own as they're wandering around and they get this into their head. So it's a constantly evolving book. And people have compiled books of them before, but I think an evolving book of Tom Swifties would, would be really fun. Apparently, interesting fact here, that another thing that comes from Tom Swift is the taser which stands for Thomas A. Swift's Electric Rifle. It was invented by a NASA scientist called Jack Cover, who was a fan of the book. That's a good piece of trivia, isn't it? That is, that is very good, yeah. There's a good pun here from Finnegan's Wake. Uh, James Joyce's incomprehensibly difficult work, I think, for most people. They were young and easily freudened. <laughs> Perhaps the most highbrow pun in literature. There is a laugh that goes along with a pun initial laugh and then feel like you've been tricked. So there's that, that ha <laughs> It's funny because somehow, somewhere along the line, people started coming up with pub quiz team names that have puns in them. We've seen in the wake of Leicester City winning the Premiership quite a few teams called Gloria Leicester fan. Um, <laughs> for, for which, which is very good. That's the yeah, best quiz team name of the last year that I've come across. We've, we had an awful lot of quiz team Aguileras. Um, <laughs> team Aguilera. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's a, a, bit, a bit jaded. Quiz Eubank, Merry Quizmas, that kind of stuff. Um, Halal, is it meat you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, people are really into punning pub quiz team names. Well, Jack, we'll definitely accept your book of Tom Swifties into the museum, he said receptively. <laughs> Thank you, Jack.